Hey yo, what's going on everybody, it's Tyler Riz, aka Ty Killington. In this video I am bringing you a fully completed, a total tutorial, import export DLC, how to make millions, okay? With that being said, make sure you subscribe to my channel for the illest and reals content in the game, and make sure you smash, I mean smash, smash that like button! Oh my god, I, oh, I love it. Anyways, so, the DLC is out. I've had some time to check it out and play around. There's so much going on. It's really a two-part kind of DLC here. But I'm going to break it down with just the import-export part. Uh, how to make the money. How to, I, I'm going to walk you guys all the way through it. From cradle to the grave, okay? From <laughs> from import, from, from stealing your cars, all the way to selling them. How to get it all set up. All that stuff. Everything, okay? I'm not going to leave anything unturned. We're going to knock this out, okay? So definitely, let's just stick with it here. I know it's a little bit longer video. I apologize, but we'll get right into it. And I'm going to let you know exactly what we got to do because this is fire. It's really fun. I do recommend it. Just a heads up, though, you already have to have a CEO office. You already have to have that, okay? Uh, I, if you don't have one, I recommend you buy the cheap one. It's a million dollars to Long Bank West, I believe is what it is. It's a million bucks to get you started, okay? Anyways, you got your office. You're in there. Go to your, your computer, Securo Serve. Click on your vehicle cargo. Once you're in your vehicle cargo, you, you won't see your summary page. I already have mine, so you, I, I see my summary page up front. But you want to go to the vehicle warehouse map. Whatever you see, just go to the vehicle warehouse map, and then it will show you all of the different warehouses. This shows my owned one, and you can own more than one, apparently. Uh, so now it just shows all. So right here, you got there's nine different uh, uh, warehouses, and they go anywhere between 1.5 million to, I think, a little over three or right at three million. All right, so there's different ones you can buy. Um, I recommend just going for the 1.5 million. I do like uh, location of the one that I have. I will pay more for a better location for use of for ease of, of access and things like that. But if you're on a budget, just go with the with the cheap one. Don't worry about the upgrades. Okay, so so far we're at a million for the uh, CEO office and then 1.5 million for the cheap warehouse. Okay, it's basically 2.5. So once you're in there, once you buy it, you can renovate it, all right? Here, basically, the renovation is just like your um, your interior design. So uh, you got this, the standard, you got the basic, you got the urban, then you have the branded. I went ahead and went with the branded. I think it was like close to 400000 or a little over 400000 I can't remember exactly, but not too bad. But once again, you don't have to do any of this to get it going, all right? So you pick out which one you want. You can zoom in of the, uh, to the maps so and kind of see a little bit better where you're at. And what you're doing and that really helps out kind of get an idea so now you want to make a sale right well so you do your sales through your ceo office okay not the actual warehouse you, you i apologize you set up your your vehicle uh theft you know, where you actually get your cargo through your office right so go to your office and you want to source a vehicle this big green button right here and this says you know this is where you can find your high-end vehicles across the city so you hit confirm on that, and this basically starts your mission, just like it would be a crate or whatever else, a, 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 one of the biker business sales. It doesn't matter. It's the same kind of thing. It says right there, steal the vehicle, deliver the 811 to the warehouse. Now, I strongly recommend, if you, don't, if you don't already have one, try and get one. But if not, use your Pegasus Concierge, all right, with your assistant, and get a Cargo Bob or the Jet Sam. The reason being is because if you damage the vehicle on the collection of it or on the sale of it, it will take away from how much you can earn all right so if you damage your vehicle you have to repair it i've seen people have to spend up to twenty-five thousand on vehicle repairs because they crashed it when they're trying to steal it so you whatever it costs it doesn't matter get a cargo bob or a jet sam all right <clears throat> go out excuse me sorry <laughs> go out to the uh the location of wherever the vehicle is you know it'll show up on your map sometimes you have to do like a securo serve like um uh, a radar thing where you have to like find it. You have to go to a certain. It'll send you a picture through a text message. You have to go. It's terrible. I hate that one. All right. So this one just says, you know, use silence weapons. Blah blah blah. I just went in there to start shooting people up. <laughs> I didn't really care. I just wanted to get this over with. Get it knocked out. Get my money. So there's a car right there. This is basically. It's like a little scenario. This is. They were filming a movie and the car was supposed to go off the ramp. I was supposed to steal it and drive off the ramp and go through. But I was like, nah, I'm not doing all that. So uh, I got cops or whatever. You can call Lester. No big deal. Uh, call Lester, hit him up. And remember, you can do all of this in a solo public lobby. And I've showed you how to get into solo public lobbies, how to create them, or all that good stuff. All right, this works and all that. Call the cops, get them off you. And then basically, I'm, I'm just going to go back to my cargo bob and use it to pick up the vehicle. And uh, it's, it's kind of, you have to be real careful with this, though, because sometimes I'll be in a tight area. Say you, you don't feel comfortable right here by that tree, just go get the car and drive it over to a, a, a nice area that's wide open, then use the cargo bob. 
So I pick up the cargo bob, the global signal goes, and then you see in the bottom right corner, repair costs. So now if I'm getting stuff damaged, it, that repair cost will go up. Uh, I'm now just simply flying back to my warehouse. Now you'll see on the radar, I have a chopper that's starting to chase me and some bad guys. Don't worry about any of that. Just fly, keep flying, and go to your warehouse. I had the choppers coming at me all the way to the warehouse, but as soon as I hovered over that yellow uh, marker, it just it let me get into the warehouse. No problem at all. All right, so here I am flying over the warehouse right now, about to uh, to fly to the market. This is really convenient. You don't even have to be that close to it. I got down there, bam, it, it's almost like it was designed to be used with the cargo bob. So uh, it takes care of that little animation right there. Vehicle's delivered, my guy drives it in, or my assistant dude drives it in, whatever. And bam, there we go. I, I made 62,000 on that one. Uh, oh no, I haven't made any money yet. So I have it collected, right? Now I'm gonna go through the sale. So you go into your warehouse. This is what it looks like on the inside. I already have a couple of vehicles in there. I got the uh, <clears throat> the old school like um, Model T car or whatever. Uh, the Roosevelt, duh. Got the 811 I just stole. All right, and then here's the uh, 770. I'm gonna go ahead. I think I'm gonna sort of sell the 770. It's like right in the middle. It'll get me a decent amount because uh, uh, each car is worth a different amount. So you just go into your office in your um, in your warehouse. The offices are pretty cool. They're a little grungy. I wish they're a little bit nicer, but it's all right. Spend all this money. I'd like to at least have the drywall fixed and the paint done in here. Got your little soda machine, kind of thirsty. I'm going to get me a soda real fast. <laughs> this is dumb stuff. I'm sure you can find some, I don't know, mass glitches or something like that here. Uh, just throw the can on the floor, just trash the place up, it doesn't matter. Speaking of trash in the place up, look at this disgusting, dirty bathroom. Oh my god, it's, so it's a little things in the game that is, I appreciate, I love it. But anyways, you got a little area back here to go to sleep. I you know, I never really knew what that was for. You can change your clothes right there, which that's kind of nice and get you a different outfit or whatever. No big deal. Uh, go ahead, take a seat at your desk in your crappy, ripped up computer chair. I mean, I've got a hundred and some odd million dollars. I can't buy a new computer chair. Jeez, come on. <laughs> anyway, so access your computer. All right. And uh, you're in the ad hocs auto uh, like web interface. Okay, this is pretty cool. You can either sell the cars individually. You can just export them out. You can sort different things by value. Um, it'll it'll rearrange the uh, the cars for uh, value and stuff like that. Uh, you can sort by your name. You can sort by the filter. You can filter it by top range, mid range. The range classes are just basically how much money you get. Um, so that's that's what that is. But anyways, go up top and you see where it says collection. Click on that. Now this is pretty cool. I do like this. It groups your vehicles into collections. If you have more than one person and, and your little crew or whatever, you can sell more vehicles. If it's just you by yourself, you can only sell one car at a time. But say I got four people. Now I can sell four of these this little collection class right here. And I'll get a $50,000 bonus. Or if you just have one of the person, I can do a little two-car collection, and I'll sell it for a $20,000 bonus. So sometimes it's, it's good to kind of save your cars and see what kind of collections you get. And then it'll automatically let you know, like right here, once I get that Z-Type, I'll be able to sell this uh, Roosevelt and Z-Type for a, a bonus of 20 grand. Plus, I have to have one other person with me, which that's a, that, that's not that hard to get. But anyways, I, it's just me by myself, so let's go ahead and get the uh, 770, 770. Excuse me. You click on Export. It brings up to the top list, and then you just go and hit Export again. And this is where you get your money, your commission. You can either uh, choose to get a low commission of 25000 and spend zero on upgrades. Now, the more you upgrade, the more money you'll make. All right, so if you go down to the mid-range, you spend 6200 you'll make 43000 Well, I'm going to spend 12500 on upgrades and make sixty-two grand, which is a net profit of basically 50000 right? So... Go in there, and then this is kind of lame. I don't like this. It's kind of this is a waste of time, really. Uh, you have to go, in, even though they're free. You have to go in there and actually mod out the vehicle. You have to go in there and because the the buyer demands certain things be modded on there, but it is free. You don't have to worry about it. So you got to change a few things. It's kind of lame. I just kind of skipped through that a little bit. Just you know, zoom through it. No big deal. So now we're ready to export the vehicle, right? I spent 12 grand on the upgrades or whatever. Now, if I was just driving this out, every time I crash, every time I get shot by NPCs, I'm losing money. That's why it is absolutely imperative. It is imperative that you use a cargo bar. However you have to do it, do that, all right? All right, so I hook up to the uh, car itself. And as you see down there, my commission is 62,500. The total market value of the car is 695. Don't get confused. You do not get that 695, I wish, but only thing you get is 62 uh, or whatever. I got shot once by a bad guy, NPC car or whatever, so I lost like a hundred and something bucks. You just fly to the marker and then bam, it takes you right there. And it really takes no time at all. And right at there, as you see, I made 62,305. I lost 195 bucks. No big deal. 
So, this is kind of a bummer too. Heading back to the office. I'm back at the desk. I want to go make another sale, right? There is a cool down time. You got to wait about 15, 20 minutes. Sometimes it's even longer. I've, I've heard people say it's up to 45 minutes. Everything I've experienced is around 15 minutes. So you can use that time to go steal some more vehicles, run some uh, crates, whatever you want to do. And that's basically it though, guys. That's, that's pretty much the whole gist of it right there. Uh, I did skip about the special vehicles. Once you get four vehicles on, uh, stolen and unlocked, you can do the special missions. They're kind of like the CEO or VIP missions. They make about 10 grand. The big thing though is that they give you the discounts in the war stock. They allow you to get the discounted price for all the new uh, Warstock vehicles. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for the Illus Reels content of the game. And make sure you smash. I mean, smash that like button. And we'll see you in the next. Peace out.